Winnie, where are you right now? Did you go out to buy that equipment Mr. Parker asked you to get earlier? Hi, Nora. Um, yes, I did. I went out a couple of hours ago. I'm just on my way back to the office now, actually. I see. Well, be a darling and pick me up some new lipstick on the way back, won't you? Wait, uh, did I need some foundation too? Uh, I'm not sure. I was running low. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I really like the look of the channel perfume. They've been running adverts for on TV lately. Be an absolute sweetie and pick up a bottle, okay? Apparently, it's good for sleep. I've been reading all sorts of fascinating articles on sleep perfumes lately. Everyone's doing it. Excuse me? Wait, can we just clear something up first? Are these company supplies? Surely we don't need any of this stuff for the office, do we? What are you talking about? Of course we do! Haven't you heard? I'm going on a business trip to one of our branch offices tomorrow. Oh dear sweetie, where have you been? It's a talk of the office. I need them to take with me. So be an absolute doll and go shopping with me, won't you? Thanks. Listen, Nora. Something tells me I'm not going to be able to claim for any of this stuff on company expenses. To be completely honest with you, there is a chance you won't, but there's a chance you will, so enough with the questions, just buy them, okay? Once I'm back from my business trip, I'll fill out the form to claim the money back on expenses. Just get them for the time being, okay? We can iron all these minor details when I'm back. No way! These aren't minor details! Just hold on a second! You're asking me to pay for something with my own money that there's a good chance you won't be able to get back on the company expenses, and I can't do that. In actual fact, we haven't gotten back a single cent from anything I bought you, ever! All of your expense claim applications get rejected. I wouldn't necessarily mind that if you actually paid me back yourself, but you don't, do you? You never do! My money may as well be disappearing into a black hole with you. Not only that, but the stuff you asked me to buy isn't exactly cheap, is it? <sighs> Take a chill pill, sweetie. My husband is the CEO, you know that. All I have to do is say the word and he'll see to it that we get everything back on company dime. But hey, even if we don't, is it really that important? I don't see what the big deal is. How can you not see what the big deal is about making me buy you all your makeup and accessories with my own money all the time? Are you for real right now? You will pay me back, won't you? Ever since I joined this company five years ago, I haven't seen a single cent of the money I spent on favors for you. Just this one time, honey, you say. I'll pay you back later, you say. And you never do. Oh, Winnie, my dear. Why do you have to be so petty? It's hardly like you're breaking the bank, is it? You should be grateful for the opportunity to show some gratitude for all the things that I've done for you over the years. That's not something that you force people to do. If I want to show you your gratitude, I'll do it on my own terms. And you've got some nerve to try and downplay the amount. It might not seem like much each time, but it adds up. You've been doing this for five years now, you know? You will give me all the money back, won't you? You do plan on doing what you promised, right? Oh, you can be so annoying sometimes. Enough of this petulant whining. Just go and buy me the things I asked for. If you dare answer me back one more time, I'll have you fired. My husband is the CEO. The CEO, do you hear me? Do you even understand who you're messing with here? You do not want to be in my bad books. I promise you that, little missy. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. If you understand the gravity of the situation, I suggest you buy me my things immediately. Off you go now, my subservient little lipstick slave. I have too much on my plate to be worrying about the likes of you right now. I have a business trip to prepare for after work. You do not want to make someone as important as me wait. Hurry up and get back to the office with my things ASAP. You can rush me all you like. I'm not even anywhere near the store yet. 
If you're not back at the office within the next three seconds, I'll triple today's workload as a punishment. One, two... Oh, what a shame. There goes the rest of your day. What the heck? Are you a child? Wait, when you say triple my workload, you mean you're gonna palm your work off onto me, don't you? Why must you always act like this? There's always some made-up reason why I have to do your jobs. Why can't you just do your own work for a change instead of forcing it onto me? I do unpaid overtime every single day because of you. I heard you do it to other people on my days off too. You force your entire workload off onto some poor sap and go home before you're supposed to every single day. You're out of control, you tyrant. Please, just stop this. I'm begging you, seriously. You have no idea how stressed out I am because of how you treat me at work. I'm a tyrant now, am I? How could you be so horrible? I've never spoken to you so cruelly in my life. Oh my, whatever did I do to deserve this? Can't you see I'm doing this for you, Winnie? I want to see you grow and develop as an employee. The only reason I test you more than the others is because I see hidden potential in you that I don't see in anyone else. What? Besides, you left college, what, <laughs> five years ago now? You're well past the age of where you can beg for things to get your way. You're not in elementary school anymore, you know. Sometimes you just can't get your way, no matter how much you don't like it. That's just the world we live in, sweetie. And you'd do better to accept that sooner rather than later. I have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea how much I'm struggling with all this. The unpaid overtime being forced to buy you things practically every week. If you don't like it here, you're free to resign whatever you want. <laughs> oh, you're replaceable. There are a number of employees I could enslave instead of you. All it would take is one word from me to my husband, the CEO, and you'd be out of a job before the day was up. How does that sound? If you don't want to lose your job, I suggest you start obeying me and stop giving me back chat, young lady. You're my slave. Make sure you never forget that. <laughs> you better not slack off while I'm away on my business trip either. I'll know if you do. I have eyes and ears everywhere at this company. Do your job properly, slave girl. <laughs> Damn it, Winnie! Where the hell are you? You get your ass back to this office right now! Oh, hi, Nora. Welcome back. How did the business trip go? Forget that. What the hell do you think you're playing at? It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who made a huge mess of my desk and locker! You took my personal belongings home with you, didn't you? Don't bother denying it. I know. You will pay dearly for this unless you get back to the office immediately and give me a good explanation for why my desk and locker are in such a sorry state. I'll tell my husband if you don't. I swear I'll do it. I mean, you can ask me to come back to the office if you like, but it won't get you anywhere. I resigned yesterday. Huh? Wait, uh, say what now? Said I left the company yesterday. While you were away on your business trip? You resigned? Why would you do such a thing? Do you remember who said, if you don't like it here, you're free to resign whenever you like? <laughs> oh yeah, I seem to remember it being you. You threatened to have me fired by tattletailing on me for a load of made-up nonsense to your husband if I didn't obey you. I had no intention of doing what you said, so I just left before you could have me fired. Ugh, I was so sick of your tyranny. I asked myself, is this job really worth it? And no matter which way I looked at it, the answer was no. I'm using up the rest of my paid holidays now, so I will never go back into the office again. Thanks for everything, Nora. It's been real... memorable. Now, if you'll excuse me... Oh, no you don't. I will not excuse you. We are not finished here, young lady. You took my things from my desk and locker, didn't you? Give them back! Wrong. Everything I took home from the office belonged to me. As for your desk and locker, the only things I took from them were the beauty and fashion accessories you forced me to buy with my own money. 
that you never paid me a cent back on. In short, my property. You see, I've been making a real long list over these last five years of all the items you had me buy you. I took everything I could home with me on the day of my resignation. You're not confused about anything here, are you? You do understand that any and all of the items I paid for are my property, don't you? No, this isn't how this works. I'm the one who asked you to buy them. You bought them for me, and they're mine. Give them back, you lowlife thief. One word from my husband about this, and you'll be in court for stealing company equipment. That's where you're wrong. The only thief here is you. You stole everything because it was me who paid for it. You've got some nerve to claim any of it as your own. Do I look like a charity? I'm not exaggerating when I say you are the most selfish person I've ever met. What are you talking about? Those things were in my desk. And my locker. How could they not be mine? Because I was lending you them temporarily. Oh, I know borrowing your locker space like that for all this time was a little cheeky of me. I'm so terribly sorry. But oh well, no use crying over spilt milk, right? Now, if you'll excuse me. No, you will wait, young lady. This is not a conversation you get to end when you feel like it. Quit trying to justify stealing from me with your far-fetched arguments and twisted logic. Stop making me repeat myself and just give me back the stuff you stole already. I'll have my husband take you to court if you don't. How many times do I have to tell you that they were never yours to begin with? I mean, I guess I don't necessarily mind giving you them back. It's not like I have any use for any of this stuff. However, there is one teeny tiny little condition if I do give you it. I'll be sending you a bill for $10,758. That should just about cover all the money I've spent on you during these last five years of forced servitude. What? $10,758? Why? Surely there's no way it costs that much. The stuff on my desk and locker can't have amounted to anything more than a single plastic bag. Oh dear, what are you talking about, Nora? Did I not just save the money for everything I spent on you during these last five years? That's how much money you forced me to spend since you became my boss. What? Is it seriously that much? Uh, that can't be! There's just no way! I was surprised too. But when you actually think about it, it's not that hard to believe. The makeup you forced me to buy, the dinners you forced me to accompany you on and pay for. When I got all my old records and receipts together, added it all up, and realized I'd hit the 10k mark, my eyeballs almost popped out of their sockets. But still, $10,758? Don't worry, I don't mind if you can't pay. That just means I get to keep everything I bought. Feel free to take me to court if you think you can win. You might want to consider that decision very carefully though, because I have mountains of evidence for the unpaid debt you owe me. Evidence? What evidence? I have receipts for everything. Not to mention our entire chat history, which includes your voice messages. Silly old me actually believing you'd pay me back one day. Kept hold of receipts for every purchase thinking I'd make it easier for you when you finally decided to pay me back. But you know what? Something tells me you have no intention of paying up, so I'm just gonna send you the bill now. You'd really demand I pay for things from that long ago? Can't we just let bygones be bygones? This is ancient history for crying out loud. You coward, you tyrant! <laughs> That's funny. It seems more to me like the one who palms off her work onto her subordinates and forces them to buy her fashion accessories, makeups, dinners, refuses to pay a single cent of it back, and uses her husband's position of authority at the company as a tool to treat people as her personal slaves is the only cowardly tyrant here. <sighs> Whatever. There's still no way I can afford to pay $10,758. Not all on my own. Don't worry, I have the perfect idea. Just ask your husband to pay for it. You seem to love bragging about your super powerful CEO husband so much that I'm surprised you didn't think of it yourself. Anyway, I'll be putting together the invoice and bringing it over to your place real soon, sweetie. 
What? No! I can't ask my husband! I just can't! He'll get mad at me if he finds out I owe that much money! I think you'll be lucky if it stops at him just getting angry. It'd be a shame if he decided to take more drastic measures, don't you think? Oh, yeah, all this talk of your husband reminds me. But for some reason, among the mountains of documents you forced me to complete at the office over the years, there were some photos of you. Photos of me? I think you might have mixed up some of your private photos with your work files. But you wouldn't believe what they were of. There were tons of photos of you with some young, muscle-bound hunk. Looks like you were in some kind of private swimming pool under the moonlit sky. Ah, oh, so romantic. Looks like you had a blast. With you in your bikini, him in his shorts, with you and your hand on his huge, muscled chest. Wait, no! You know what the weirdest thing is? The date on the photos is the same day as you went on your business trip. And the photo location is listed as a hotel close to the company branch you visited. Weren't you supposed to be there for work? I wonder what you could have possibly been doing letting loose in the pool like that with Mr. Hunk. But the biggest question here is, what's your husband going to think? That young guy in the photos definitely doesn't look like the CEO. Oh, oh no, it couldn't be. Are you two? What's wrong, Nora? Cat got your tongue? No, oh, wait, 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 wait. You've got this all wrong. Those photos had nothing to do with my work files or the business trip. I must have put them in there by mistake. Those are my private photos and you have no right to them. Give them back at once. Okay, if you insist. Here's what I'll do. When I come over and give you the invoice for the $10,758 you owe me, I'll hand the photos over to your husband. Oh, please, you can't do that. Anything, anything but that. Stop this at once. Stop this at once? Is that an order? A request? I really can't tell. Here's the thing. You're not my boss anymore, so I don't think I have to listen to a word you say. If that was an order, I think you know where you can stick it. It's was a request. I'm begging you, please, don't give my husband those photos. I'm seriously begging you here. If he sees them, he'll divorce me. If it's money you want, I'll pay anything. Please, please stop this. Oh, so you're begging me, huh? Hey, Nora, do you remember? Do you remember that time I asked you to stop bullying me and treating me like your personal slave? What was that you said again? Go on, remind me. Um, I'm not sure I remember. Well, you're way past the age where you can beg for things to get your way. You're not in elementary school anymore. Sometimes you just can't get your way, no matter how much you don't like it. That's just the world we live in, sweetie. And you do better to accept that sooner rather than later. I'll be dropping by your place tomorrow. See ya. The next day, as promised, I made my way to Nora's house with her fashion and makeup accessories and the invoice for the money she owed me. In one last desperate attempt, she tried to snatch the bag off of me while she thought I wasn't paying attention. But I didn't let my guard down for a second, and after eluding her sudden lunge with a well-timed dodge, handed over the evidence of Nora's reign of terror and the invoice to her husband. He was mortified, and after recovering from the shock of finding out what had been going on, he apologized profusely to me and promised to make his wife pay every last cent of what she owed. Next, after finding out about the affair and how his wife had been using his position at the company as a shield to abuse her subordinates, he demanded a divorce and a hefty sum in compensation. When news of all this reached the office, Nora's other victims finally felt emboldened enough to speak out about the campaign of abuse she'd subjected them to. After being taken to court, she received a disciplinary discharge from the company. In one devastating swoop, she lost her job, her savings, and even her home. She returned in hopeless desperation to her parents' house, a shadow of her former self. I wonder what she thought would happen. I immediately found work at another company after my resignation, and I'm currently working as hard as I can, surrounded by the greatest bunch of colleagues and boss I could ever hope for. It'd be great if I had a boyfriend too, but I guess I'll have to wait a little longer on that one. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.